Now at noon, a wild pursuit across the Bay Bridge ends with a stolen ambulance in flames. Good afternoon. I'm Ann McEvick in for Michelle. And I'm Kenny Choi. Let's get straight to Jackie Ward on Treasure Island, where it all came to a fiery end. Jackie? Kenny, this all started at 8 this morning when medics were treating a person for non-life-threatening emergency at the Ambassador Hotel in the Tenderloin in San Francisco. When the medics came out to take their patient to the hospital, they realized their ambulance was gone. After a police chase across the Bay Bridge, it ended up here, the I-80 eastbound off-ramp for Treasure Island. CHP and the San Francisco Fire Department tweeted these pictures that were taken as the ambulance was still on fire. You can still see that it most likely crashed as a took the corner and ended up on top of a barrier. The driver then somehow managed to escape as it caught fire. She refused to be treated for any injuries and she was arrested on scene. Traffic heading eastbound on the Bay Bridge was very slow going because of this crash and commuters heading into San Francisco all the way in Brisbane were even feeling the effects. Now, as to how this could have happened, the SFFD spokesperson said, depending on the nature and dynamic of the crew, they have the option of leaving the ambulance running when they're inside treating a patient. But the ambulance can continue to run with the doors locked, even when the keys are taken out of the ignition. As to how this occurred, whether the ambulance crew did that procedure, if they had it turned off and locked the ambulance, if the ambulance was unlocked, we don't know if that's going to be part of our investigation. Obviously, various drugs are kept in ambulances, but they're triple locked inside and require two additional keys to access. At this point, SSFD says everything has been accounted for. And fortunately, crews were able to remove the oxygen tanks from the burning ambulance, preventing an explosion from happening. Right now, the I-80 eastbound off-ramp onto Treasure Island is back open, so drivers should have no problem getting onto Treasure Island. From Treasure Island, Jackie Ward, KPIX 5. That is wild. Thanks.